Cancelled. What? They cancelled? This morning? Yeah. I know, weird, right? What time are you back tonight? Uh, not till 10, at least. That's a shame. Can't you get out any earlier? Be nice. Sorry, you know I can't. I know, I know. Well, I'll tell Mum I can pick up Janie now. You sure? Yeah. I think we should probably give her a break. Such a shame you can be back so late. Pizza and wine Friday. Okay, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. Listen, I gotta go. Okay, well, have a good day. Selfie play radio. By Barbara Three Richard Danvers to escape justice after racking up gambling debts of over 480,000 data points has ended with his arrest after he went on the run when his family refused to accept his replacement. He is now in custody pending swapping whilst his family appealed to the courts. Next with the headlines, the announcement that there will be a new step to starlight in the Magic Kingdom update launching within the month has caused quite a stir amongst children across the country. Delphi, unlock front door. Yes, ma'am. Front door unlocked. Hello, can I help at all? Oh, hello. Are you Mrs. Fairfield? Yes, I am. Can I help? Yes, I believe you can. Mrs. Fairfield, I must say, this hydrangea is delightful. Oh. Rips and Hortensi. Yes? Um, I'm not sure. Yes, I believe so. Very pretty. I do love hydrangeas, don't you? You've done a wonderful job, I must say. Thank you. Oh, I apologise, Mrs Fairfield. Let me introduce myself. I'm Mr Jones. I'm from Technus. You work with Mark? Yes, I've been with the corporation for many years now. I'm afraid he's at the office at the moment. Yes, yes, of course he is. Actually, it was you I was hoping to have a little chat with. These really are stunning. If it's a bad time, I can come back. I haven't interrupted anything, have I? No, not at all. I've actually just had quite an important meeting cancelled. Oh, so. Excellent. No, I didn't think I had. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mrs. Fairfield. I very much appreciate it. Stop. Can I get you a drink of anything? Tea, coffee, juice? Uh, do you have any herbal teas? Oh, uh, no, sorry, I don't think we do. No, you never do. In that case, an English breakfast would be wonderful, Mrs. Fairfield. Sure. Sorry about that. We are a fully caffeinated household here. Janie is quite the artist. <laughs> well, we like to think so. She seems to have a penchant for one subject in particular. Stella Starlight. She can't get enough of her. No, she can't, can she? Delphi, order more milk. Yes, sir. That would be 98 points. Confirm. Here you go. Thank you, Mrs. Fairfield. Right. Shall we go through to the living room?
Please, take a seat. Do you have a coaster? A coaster? That's very considerate of you. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is a genuine wooden table, is it not? In fact, I believe most of the house is actually genuine. Remarkable. It is. You've got a good eye. Genuine lacquer, too. Of course, putting a synthetic on top would rather defeat the point now, wouldn't it? You sound just like my husband. Mm. He has very good taste. Thank you. Yep, he gets pretty grumpy when I don't use these. Well, of course. A genuine item like this. So silly to spoil something so special just by being careless, Mrs. Fairfield. Oh, you wouldn't even notice it happening when you put a hot mug on a genuine varnish surface like this. The heat from the mug opens up the pores in the wood and moisture creeps in. Of course, you can remove the mug, but it's too late. The pores close over, locking in the moisture and creating those offensive white rings. It happens right under your nose, without you even noticing, just because you're being a bit careless. Well, I think it's a waste of data anyway. The synthetics are so good nowadays. Oh, you can always tell the real thing from the synthetics, Mrs. Fairfield. Trust me, you just need to look close enough. But, to business. I mustn't take up too much of your morning. And I know you have somewhere to be at one o'clock. So, I need to speak to you today about your Technus account. Well, it's not actually your account that's the issue, but it does fall to your account's accountability. So, in a way, the issue is yours, which is why I need to speak to you. Right. So, what's wrong with my account? Oh, nothing. It's your daughter's account that's the issue. Right. So, what's wrong with my daughter's account? Well, she's bankrupt. What? Yes. She's in a significant amount of debt. I'm sorry. Two hundred and sixty thousand eight hundred and twenty data points, to be precise. What? Yes. It's quite the sum, isn't it? How? I'm sorry? How can she be bankrupt? Well, it's easy, you see. You spend more data than you have. No, 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 no. How can she be bankrupt? She's eight. She doesn't buy anything. Well, Mrs. Fairfield, there are a few, well, actually an awful lot, of regular transactions that she enacts herself. I'm sorry, what? This is ridiculous. Is this some sort of joke? I assure you it is not, Mrs. Fairfield. Now, I understand this might be a bit of a shock, so perhaps I can start by explaining the progression of events for you, if I may. Please, be my guest. I suspect you have noticed that Janie has a particularly strong affiliation for Stella Starlight and her friends. Yes, I am aware of my daughter's favourite TV character. Thank you. Quite. And you are aware that she's become quite the aficionado in playing the Stella Starlight and the Magic Kingdom game online. I'd imagine she is by now. Of course, of course. I'm not trying to cast aspersions on your relationship with your daughter, Mrs. Fairfield. I'm just trying to explain what has happened. So you are also aware of the online bullying she's been experiencing recently. What? Janie's not being bullied. How are you so sure? We'd know. The school would tell us. Ah, it's not the school that's the issue, Mrs. Fairfield. It's online. We don't let her have social accounts for that very reason. Ah, ah, ah. I see what has happened. I see where all of this has gone wrong. Oh, <laughs> how so silly. I must make a note of this. Make a note of what? Well, you see, Janie does have a social account. Quite a big one. She has Stella Starlight and the Magic Kingdom. That's a game. A game where she's a unicorn and runs around with her friends saving fairies exactly. from... Exactly. With her friends, Mrs. Fairfield. With her friends. They're chatting on it continually. She may as well still be in the classroom with them. And I might add at this point, I completely disagree with the comments made by Diamond Shine and Purple Party Princess about her online. Really very unfair. 
I very much doubt that Janie ever did that in the school bathrooms. Shocking how cruel children can be, isn't it? But don't worry, Mrs. Fairfield. Janie is a smart girl. She's found a really good way of making friends. By spending hours online, she has substantially boosted the skills of her unicorn. Now she is the fastest and strongest of all of her friends. They all want to quest with her. She has several advanced magical abilities, and her castle, if I say so myself, is pretty impressive. She has never been more popular at school. I'm sorry. So you're saying that this game has gotten her into all this debt? Yes, exactly. It's a free game. Come now, Mrs. Fairfield. Nothing in this world is free, especially if you don't like watching the adverts. Look, her account is under my parental controls. She can't do anything that costs data. Correct. And very sensible too, Mrs. Fairfield. You have no idea what trouble little ones could get themselves into on the internet. It can be a dark, dark place. And that is why she had to ask you to sign the terms and conditions, the ones that authorized her subscription to the ad-free version and enabled her to make in-game purchases. That potion that restores all of your life points in one go doesn't come cheap. You do remember reading those terms and conditions, don't you? The ones you signed? That can't be right. I wouldn't sign something like that. Even if you were racing off to a meeting and she pushed a tablet in front of you? Well, it can't be legal. They'd have to make a term like that very clear. Seems pretty clear to me. You'll find your DNA signature at the bottom. I'm calling Mark. Whatever for, Mrs. Fairfield? Because he's a top core lawyer, Mr. Jones, and he'll be able to tear holes in a flimsy document like this in no time. Mrs. Fairfield, your husband wrote this agreement. This exact one. He constructed all of the terms. I actually think it'd be a bit embarrassing for him, really. His wife being caught out like this. But you know him best. If you feel that calling him will help, please be my guest. Mmm. Oh, I do love a hot cup of tea. May I suggest hojika if you are going to try green? It's a little less bitter than the others. How much does the debt come to? Ah, well, let's see. 260,820 data points in child data. Well, that is approximately... Uh, ah, may I? Delphi. What is today's exchange rate for 260,820 child data points? At today's exchange rate, that is 4,003,698 adult data points. It's quite a lot, isn't it? It's more than yours and your husband's accounts combined. Well, we don't do IRL meetings for just anyone. I mean, the carbon cost of my travel alone, this means a lot to us. A child's data is irresistible to our advertisers. Just think of the decades of brand loyalty they can build if we can affect her buying choices now. But I digress. Let's move on to discussing how she is going to pay back this debt. I'm sorry? How she is going to pay back this debt. Well, after all, that is why I'm here today, Mrs. Fairfield. And you're expecting me to just start handing over data? Well, no, as discussed, you To a don't... stranger? I'm not giving you anything. I'm certainly not giving you Janie. Well, now, Mrs. Fairfield... I don't know who you are. How do I know this isn't a scam? I beg your pardon. How do I know that you are who you say you are? I'm sorry, Mrs. Fairfield, I don't... How do I even know that you're from Technus? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Fairfield, but are you accusing me of being a liar? Well, prove it. Mrs. Fairfield, I assure no. you... No. 
No, I don't want your assurances. How can you prove to me that you oh, Mrs. actually Fairfield. are from Technus? I mean, you turn I up really, here really didn't saying want to get you're to from Technus with a few But you backed me into a corner now. About my family that, quite frankly, anyone could have found Your favourite film out. is Casablanca. You sit here demanding. Your favourite book is Rebecca. Good guess. Your favourite meal is the Capriosa Pizza at Luigi's. Well, that's easy enough to find out. You are a size 10 and a 34C. Your average heart rate after a run is 150 beats per minute. You prefer the house, two degrees hotter than your husband does, and currently you're having trouble sleeping. You worry that having Janie has made people think less of you professionally and you work all hours to disprove this. You haven't been using the pool this week because you don't like swimming when you're on your period. You prefer lace snickers to a thong, but since you're worried that your husband is losing interest in you sexually, you have recently ordered more of the latter. You've been letting him have anal with you, even though you see it as totally degrading, and been watching a lot of his porn in an obsessive form of self-torture to see what it is that he's fantasizing about. Oh, and you can't stand egg and cress sandwiches. Would you like a glass of the 2003 Chenon Blanc that's currently in the fridge? I thought all those had been recalled. Most. Not all. I have quite the collection at home. Something about the weight of the thing. You felt like you were actually giving something away when you handed this over. You're going to swap her, aren't you? It's standard procedure. She's only a child. They grow up fast, don't they? How many years? That amount of data debt, seven, at least. Seven? Yes, and then you'll have her back. And in the meantime, you won't even notice the difference, I promise. With the amount of data we have, the personality profile is so accurate, even you won't be able to tell it's not her. Says the man who can spot a genuine oak table from a synthetic. Now, now. Oh, I'm sure it'll be just like her. Until it changes what her favorite food is or what she likes to wear because your advertisers have got some new product they've paid you to push. It's the way we reclaim debt, Mrs. Fairfield. It's only fair. Or the thing has a glitch or crashes on us. Mrs. Fairfield, our MIMS undergo exhaustive testing before they go to market. That will not happen. No one will ever know, I promise. Mark doesn't even need to know if you don't want him to. The replacement MIM is outside, ready to go. What? He doesn't get home till 10. We could have it all done before he gets home. He would never, ever know. You think he won't notice his own daughter has been swapped? You haven't noticed your friends who've been swapped, have you? Like you said, the synthetics are so good nowadays. No. No, I won't let you do this. Mrs. Fairfield, I must say I am disappointed. I have tried to be positive. I've tried to make this as easy as possible. Do you think I like doing this? I can assure you, I take no pleasure in causing distress. But we provided your daughter with a service. One that brought her great joy in a time of need, I may add. And now we are simply asking for what is owed, fair and square. Delphi, unlock the front door. Yes, Mr. Jones. Front door unlocked. What? We need to get on with this now, Mrs. Fairfield. You can't do this! You are not my only appointment today. Wait. 
No, 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 please. Uh, Mrs. Fairfield, we really have exhausted this conversation. Please, you can't. Oh, Mrs. Fairfield, do you really think you are the first mother with whom I've had this conversation? You can't do this. Mrs. Fairfield, I definitely can. Please, no, wait. There, there, there has to be another way. There, there has to be another way to repay the debt. We'll give you anything. Anything, I, I promise. Well, there is just one other scenario Corp might accept. What? I really don't think you're going to choose it. Well, maybe your profiling isn't as good as you think it is. Guys, I'm home. Hi. Hey, love. How was your day? Eventful. How was yours? Dull. Janie upstairs? Yeah. I like the new outfit. Good. <sighs> Thank you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Mm. Oh. That's new. What's that? Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. I like it. I can get used to that. Good. Right, you want me to call Luigi's and uh, you're going to have the usual? No need. I put an order at the Pomodoro. What? It's Friday. Friday night's Luigi's night. I know. No, no, no. A Friday is a Luigi's and, and Luigi is a Friday. I know. I just thought we could try something different. It's meant to be really good. The most authentic Italian pizza this side of Naples, but with a modern twist. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I could try something new. Good. Hey, Trouble. <laughs> so, how's your day been? Good, thanks. I got to another level on Magic Kingdom. Yeah, good work. You ready for some pizza? Yeah. Hey, your mom's gone a bit mad. She's ordered it from the new place. I know, it's meant to be really good. The most authentic Italian pizza this side of Naples, but with a modern twist. <laughs>
downloading audience profiles. Goodbye.